uh, last year is September 28th. Uh, so yeah, a little bit about the dragon. In the reentry process, we need to go ahead and prep the splashdown zones. So we do want to stress to the public the need to respect the safety zone. Recovering a spacecraft from the water is a hazardous operation and any other boats interfering increases the risk. Seven plane, that heat shield, we can see 2,500 miles per hour down from 350 to uh, about 119 miles per hour, we can see. 15 kilometers, brace for drogue window. 2.53 p.m. Pacific, so we should see it any second now. And there you are getting a great view of Rodan inside Dragon Freedom. As it returns back to Earth, we are awaiting the drogue to poise. This view coming from the WB-57 high altitude plane. And there you see it on your screen, drogue deployment. a couple miles away from the splashdown site just minutes ago was going over 17,000 hunt pitch down located in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee Florida and splashdown crew nine back on earth surface and is now being uh, washed with fresh water as obviously they splash down in salt water so we're trying to rinse off I'm generally speaking uh, and, and there we do see crew nine some happy waves smiles all around back folks on board clapping as our first crew member. And that is NASA astronaut Nick Haig, commander of Crew 9. Now out of Crew Dragon Freedom. He smiles, thumbs. 
thumbs up and a wave. Can't get any better than that. Yeah, that is one happy camper, that's for sure. Next step out of the capsule, we expect Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov. His first space flight. Spent 171 days in space alongside NASA astronaut Nick Cave. Looks like we're getting some cheers and clapping on board as Alexander is slid down the little ramp and placed into the mobility aid. Again, big smile. <laughs> time splashdown. Oh, looks like we're getting our next crew member here. That is none other than Sunny Williams. Big smile, big waves. She, like her other crew members, now uh, will be assisted onto the mobility aid. Once again, some elation and cheers there from Butch Wilmore. As we mentioned before, returning to Earth from coming from a microgravity environment can wreak havoc on the body. So it is customary uh, and just standard procedure for all of our long-term space residents 